Hello and welcome to another episode of Blind Date. I am Modi Apparandis. This is where we take a look at an indie game that just came out or is new released or early development, yada yada. Today we're looking at Magicite. This game came out in early June of 2014 and uh, we're taking a look because it's a really cool game. I mean, if I had to describe this game, imagine if Terraria and Rogue Legacy and Splunky had like kind of a crazy three way and things got out of control, and then this is the game, like, this game is the product of that relationship right there, basically. No one knows who the father is, but that's basically what happened here. This is a game that's heavily influenced by those kind of things, but it's, it's, it comes into its own, really, with, with, with the way it all comes together. So it's really cool. It's a roguelike. It is an adventure survival game. Uh, it's really cool. So basically, when you start out here, you're gonna have just one race, and I haven't played this whole lot. I've done maybe four runs on it so far, and they've been varying degrees of quality so far. But really, your only options right now are male or female, and then you can roll some random stats over here and traits. And these are going to affect how you play the game, basically. So it's kind of like Rogue Legacy in that way. You kind of get a, a generation of person who has certain traits assigned to them, and it's all randomized. You can randomize it on the spot and wait till you get a good one if you want, or just go with whatever you want. Uh, we'll just go with, I don't know if I'm, I've never used magic before. I don't necessarily want that. Okay, so 5 dexterity, 5 HP, big eater, and woodcutter. Ah, that's kind of stupid. All right, let's keep rolling here. Uh, woodcutter and miner. Okay, so this will keep our picks nice and durable. I don't know if those are good things or not. We'll just roll with it though. And basically, you'll unlock other races as you play here. Uh, so each one has different traits and different starting equipment, basically. So look at this peon has plus one HP and starts with an axe and then two random items. And you also can get uh, new hats and that kind of thing, which will give you different abilities. I'm gonna put this berserker scarf on. Basically, what this does it gives a 33% chance of leveling up for an additional attack stat when you uh, when you level up. And you can also add companions and that kind of thing, which will, again, add different traits. So basically, there's a lot of things to unlock, and that's the kind of thing that's a very fun kind of replay ability of a roguelike game. I really like it. But let's get into it, and you'll see what I mean by it being kind of Terraria-ish, and Spelunky-ish, and a Rogue Legacy-ish. So the first part there, the whole, the whole, uh, the Rogue aspect of it is very Rogue Legacy, as far as how they do it, uh, with the random traits, and you unlock things as you go. That's very, that's very Rogue Legacy, but uh, the Terraria aspects of it come down to the crafting. Oh, we got a, a Warthog here we're trying to avoid. He's going to do massive damage to us if he catches us, so I'm going to try to steer clear of him as best I can and gather some wood. So basically, your first goal here in every single level, your goal is to uh, collect resources as much as you can. Uh, and the ways this is kind of like Spelunky in that uh, there's a set number of levels. Um, so you, each, each, each area kind of a floor and you'll move down to uh, other regions. There's also shops in between you that you'll find and uh, new items you'll collect along the way to uh, level up your characters. Uh, but other than that, it's, it's very much a crafting game also. So you gather resources. Oh, we got a chest down here. Amazing. Oh, That's great. Okay, what do we get? Oh, we got a sword. Was that right? So as I mentioned, it's a crafting game as well. So we got a, a Zyhander. Zyhander? Zyhander? Oh, I like it. 35 attack. Oh my god, that's phenomenal. This is like... This is the best thing I've ever seen, actually. 100 durability out of 50. Wow, okay, cool. So basically, you can use your wood that you're collecting right now, and we're gonna actually craft some things here. So the way you do this is you hold shift on two different items and combine them together to make a new item. Uh, so we're gonna do a couple of those and make an axe blade, and then we can combine some sticks together. And we don't need to make a sword anymore. So I think we just go like this to make a pick, and now we can collect stone as well. And all these resources are gonna be crucial to, to survival, basically. Because as you can see, I only have five health up in the corner here. It has five of five health. There's a hunger meter, so you have to make sure you're collecting enough food. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Okay, good. Uh, collecting these pigs, for instance, will give us more food. Let's see. Let's see what this does. Oh, that is so slow, but it does amazing damage. <laughs> I don't know about this one, but it it, it could be kind of cool. Um, so yeah, you don't get a lot of health to start with. So in that way, it's kind of like Spelunky. But in this game, you can also craft potions and stuff to improve your health and recover. But you gotta make sure you're getting enough stuff. So basically, it's kind of a collection mission for the most part. You're just kind of collecting stuff and trying to upgrade your guy, kind of like Terraria or something like that. But uh, the way these elements come together in this game, it's really quite interesting. Um, there's there's all different kinds of combat systems, all different kinds of characters to, to unlock. Uh, as you can see, there's there's crazy weapons to find, like this is that Y-hander that I got here. Um, and as I mentioned, at, at the end of every level, you will find a village where you can purchase things and upgrade your stuff and use some of the resources you've collected. So that's why it's important to find as much stuff as you can Oh, get that attack in there before that was Warthog kills us. How about that? Let's try this. Let's try this sword. If we can time it just right, we can get this uh, Warthog here. Let's get it running back this way. And oh, we got a level up there and we got attack plus one dexterity. Oh, we're not going to get in time. Okay, we can get in with this attack. I think let's get down here again. Draw him back this way and let's get him with the attack. Oh, not enough. 
Oh, we're just missing him. This is so slow, but it's amazing. Oh god. Oh, it's Ole! Oh god, oh damn it. Alright, so we finally took damage there. Let's just get this stone and get out of here. This is a, this sword is great. 35 damage is, is amazing, but uh it's so slow. Okay, we got him. One hit is all it takes, but landing that hit's the real struggle there. Um so basically there's all kinds of weapons, all kinds of enemies. Uh, it, it's pretty incredible. It's a really fun game and again, it just came out on Steam uh, Earlier this month and you can pick it up. I think it's around ten bucks. I got it on sale I paid about seven. I think Seven and a half maybe but uh, yeah, really cool a um, lot a lot of fun And so as I mentioned, there's there's like a lot of elements of Terraria and Rogue Legacy and Flunky to a certain degree because uh, Every floor you're on you're not able to stay here. Oh my god. I'm taking so much damage. We got one hit left you're not able to stay here all day, unfortunately. Uh, you have you have a time limit because there is an evil presence coming to get you, the Scourge. And if you spend too much time on a single area, just like Splunky's ghost, uh, it will come and destroy you. So you have to, you know, pick your battles wisely. And oh my God, this, this sword is a, is a menace. It's a menace to deal to deal with, but it's it's frightening. Every time you swing it, it's just a frightening thing to behold because it's so slow, and you're not sure if it's gonna land or not. Oh, this guy's spider's gonna get me. Oh god, okay. I mean, if you can land a hit with this, it's pretty much it, but, uh, my god, this sword is... This sword is incredible. Uh, I don't know how long we're gonna last in this run. I'm down to one health already. Uh, we have enough to, uh... We got really probably... Should, we, we need... We'll have to take a look and see what our resources are doing right now. Let's hop up here and take a look at our resources. Okay, we have six stone. i probably use it a couple more before we leave this area. Uh, some monster hides are great. Some... We have enough wood for everything we need, I think, though. Um, not enough spider webs to do anything with. Bone, we have a- oh, we have a ton of bone. Okay, so we'll, we'll maybe make some bone weapons here once we got out of this area. Again, I'm not gonna waste any time in this area because we're on a time crunch. Uh, I've already- I feel like I'm dawdling already. Uh, so we'll find the exit here and then we'll maybe backtrack a little bit if we're ahead of schedule. But, uh, I, at this point I don't think we are going to be. So the Scourge will come and kill you. Okay, so we're at the exit already. So the Scourge will come to kill you. Oh, we're, uh, we're, we're starving to death also. So we have to eat food to remain- remem uh, to remain healthy. Um, so we'll eat this quick here and we'll poop because we're eating raw meat apparently uh, giving us terrible diarrhea all over the place So we have seven of eight hunger right now. That's pretty good. There's a slime down there We can take him out. I think oh with our slow ass sword get him Get him oh, God. <laughs> All right, we're just better off tagged with the axe I think because he doesn't have that much damage and he's not facing the right direction to even deal with us So let's grab a little bit more wood here as long as we have we're ahead of schedule. Can I pick this stuff up? I don't think there's anything I can do with poop um but then again, I played Starbound, and you can have a lot of poop in that for some reason, in, my, in the mod I'm playing. So, uh, this is not going to be your typical uh, blind date episode for me. I'm going to be playing this game for sure again uh, on, the ch on the channel. Uh, normally, I'm doing one-off episodes, but uh, if I get enough uh, interest in something, I'll pl play it some more. But I think I'll play this one regardless on the channel, because it's, a, first of all, a lot of fun. Uh, it fits my, my channel very well, I think, because I, I do like, love these roguelike games. And, oh god, oh god, we're done. Oh, that's it. Oh, we're done. He's just gonna push us around the level now. So every time you die, the game is over. You start with a brand new character, and if you do well enough, you can unlock these chests, which will give you bonus items, and this is how you new unlock new things, new characters, new new uh, abilities, and that kind of thing, or new uh, hats, rather, not abilities. But we can play again quick here. We can do another one. Let's just roll with the same character we had before, and uh, we're in District 1 once again, so we'll try give another go here. Uh, we really... That, that, that weapon was, like, so uh, powerful, but so damn slow, and, and we kind of... It kind of uh, spoiled us. I feel like we were, we were trying to we we're trying to do too much. We weren't being careful enough because we had this awesome weapon. We wanted to use it and take on boars head on, but it wasn't it wasn't enough. So yeah, this is the kind of game I love to play for let's plays because it's you can do short little episodes and uh, I can do one run per episode and you know based on how long it's going to be. I mean a run can go anywhere from you know 15 minutes to two hours is what they claimed on the Kickstarter for this. So uh, I mean. If I'm a noob like me, it lasts about, what, 10 minutes only, so <laughs> we'll keep it, we'll play another round here quick and uh, see if we can make it to that first village, because that's where things really get interesting, because you can start buying new weapons and crafting new things with that first area. So now we got some wood again, let's uh, craft up some stuff here. And uh, these recipes you're going to have to look up, because there's nothing in game to tell you, uh, so watch a couple Let's Plays videos, or hey, you know what, you're watching this video right now, if you're wondering how to play the game, just follow me, I'm, I'm pure MLG here. Um, Let's put this together for an axe handle. Oh, I don't need to do axe. I mean, axe. I don't really want a uh, pickaxe handle. There we go. Put that together for a pickaxe and uh, ironite bar. Oh, we have an ironite bar. Okay, we need one more of those to do anything with it, but that's kind of nice. Uh, that was our random starting weapon here. Let's just throw this down here because we don't necessarily need that in our hot bar right now. And we'll put the food up there. We'll put. Uh, we have to get another um, handle here for a 
sword. So for a sword, we need to go like this, I think. Yes, and then we go like this for a, another blade and we get a wooden sword. Okay, so now we're now we're like cooking for like the first level early game type stuff. We got we got basic norm. We're not like blowing up chests to get awesome things immediately. That kind of it really oversold us there that, that that very first chest. I mean, of the very first things you can get up a level 35 or damage 35 sword that, that takes two and a half days to swing. It's probably not the most optimal thing, uh, given our dexterity and that kind of thing right now. Maybe if we had a higher dexterity score, it would, it would let us use it better. Oh god, we're gonna be attacked by multiple things here now. Oh god, we got spider. We got. Oh god, just run, just run, just run. Um, oh god, we're gonna die right here, right now. Okay, so, as you can see, that did not go very well either. They ganged up on us, but we did unlock something there. We got a chest. We got a Peon Variant 3. Alright, so we got another variant. Let's, uh, let's try it out here. Let's, let's roll with a new character here. What do you say? We'll go with the Variant 3. We unlock this. It doesn't really do anything to your abilities. It just, uh, gives you a, a third guy. Uh, so we get guy, girl, or him. Is that a girl or is this a long-haired person? I don't know. It's hard to say. I mean, these could be kind of genderless anyways. Um, intelligent plus two magic. I don't necessarily want that. And minor. Let's just roll again and see what we can get here. Artisan and aggressive. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we're not going to play this very much longer, I think, for right now. Anyways, on this run, healthy. Uh, there's a gatherer. Collect. Uh, that might be nice. Uh, let's do this. Collect twice as many ingredients when you when you collect things. So this is going to be a very uh, collection heavy person. Oh, we already got a, 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 a B. Oh my god. So, um, as, as promised, we will get to the first village here before I call this Let's Play. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna at least make it there. I might not continue on past that because, well, based on how good we're doing here, I'm, I mean, uh, we're not doing so great. Oh, I'm just not being careful enough is the problem also. Uh, kind of rushing through to get to that uh, village. But we can't do that. We got to play the game properly and get everything we can. Basically, as I mentioned, you're, not, you're on a time crunch because you're avoiding the Scourge. But you still have maybe two two to five minutes before the uh, the Scourge shows up. Um, two to five minutes? No, you probably have about ten minutes, I would say, in the level before the uh, the Scourge shows up. So, something to be aware of. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll find that first village here and, and check that out. Because it's a really cool aspect of the game, I think. Oh my god, what is this? Oh, we don't want to deal with this guy, I think. We're going to hop up here, away from him. Just gonna grab everything I can down here and get away. Oh, we knocked that that meat off the ledge there. Unfortunately, let's just avoid this guy altogether, and uh, let's hop over here by these swinging spiky plants and let's craft some things here quick. We'll need a pickaxe still from last time. We'll need a few different things. So we'll go like this, go like this, go like this, go like, and this, and oh, I didn't make, need to make two blades there. Shoot, what am I doing? Uh, we need sticks. God, that's what I'm thinking of. And like this. And that'll make a sword for us. And we, well, I guess we need two blades either way. Uh, put this together for an axe. And one more of these for a pickaxe. And we got it. And we got a pickaxe. We got a sword. And we're ready to go. C to continue on our quest in the first district here. Uh, so yeah, this game is it's a lot of fun. I would recommend picking it up. I picked it up for about $7.50 uh, on Steam. Oh, there's a chest down there. We definitely want that. If we can get this guy away from there, we can just hop down and get that chest. That'd be perfect. Okay, we're gonna have to sneak down there quick. Deal this boar. Get him out of the way. Get this chest. Oh, Goldium, di uh, Diamondite. Uh, a great blade. Oh, I don't know if we can make something out of this right away. Can we make a nice sword for ourselves? Uh, that's not how you make a sword blade, though. Um, how do you make a sword blade? Uh, it's... You gotta rethink the recipes every single time you play this. Uh, not quite. We can't do anything with this. I don't know how we can use a great blade. So we'll have to think about that. A lot of these recipes you gotta look up. Um, there's no, there's no way you can figure this stuff out in game without having some type of tutorial. So it's kind of, kind of like Minecraft in that way. When we first played Minecraft, there was no recipes or anything like that. You had to go online. It was all community based. You're learning from, learning from the community how to play it. Uh, which made it a very popular game. That, that contributed to its success. So I, I, I anticipate good things for Magicite. There's gonna be an involved community. I'm fairly certain. Should be a lot of fun. Oh, we got another one of these guys. Jesus. All right. So we're pretty much just going to be flying through here, avoiding damage as best we can. All right. So let's let's get out of here. Let's let this. This is a bust. There's too many weird things running around. We'll do a forest level next. And basically, whatever you choose there is what the the next level is going to be. Uh, and then when you complete a level, you get to this nice little village. Now they're always laid down in a different fashion, but they always have the same few things. They have a place to ta tan your um, uh, hides that you find. You can make these. Uh, into better uh, materials and clothing and, and tools. And if you go over to here, you can sell back some of the stuff you collected. Uh, down here, you can actually smelt some of the things you have. Um, so if you have any iron, which we have a diamondite, but we need two of them to actually smelt it. Uh, we have um, this guy doesn't do anything. Uh, sorry about that. And let's head back over here. We can actually craft some clothing through this person here. 
And uh, yeah, so we could collect some clothing there. So we actually, I don't know what we want to buy here. We only have 20 gold, not really anything we can buy. I don't think we're going to do very well this run, so I'm just going to keep going. Because we got to wrap this Let's Play up anyways, I'm not going to die on purpose. We're going to go as far as we can with a minimal... Uh, well, there we go. It's already over. So that's Magisite. Basically, that's the game. I mean, it's a lot of fun. You craft lots of different things. You're gonna have to be part of the community, kind of like figure out how to craft things and be watching Let's Plays and, uh, you know, watching tutorials or reading tutorials, reading the wiki, that kind of thing. But uh, it's a very fun platforming adventure game, I would say. Like I said, a, a, a legitimate child of Tararia and uh, Splunky and also Rogue Legacy somehow got in the mix there at some point. But it's it's very cool. I definitely recommend it. I will have a link in the description for the game if you want to check it out on Steam for yourself. This is a game I will be playing again for sure on my channel. It is a lot of fun. Uh, I also, there is also a multiplayer mode to this game, which I want to be checking out very soon. I hopefully will be playing with some other YouTubers very soon on this game. Uh, and I'll have that video up for you to see if you're interested. If you want to see more games like this or uh, you're enjoying it, please let me know. Subscribe to the series, subscribe to the channel, and I will be back for more very soon. Have a good night.